What's up guys, it's Young YouTube. We got this crazy new legendary reaction. Here we go. I wonder who it's gonna be. My YouTube, my Twitch chat is right here. We got a live stream going. This is gonna be insane. I wonder who it could possibly be. Everyone say I'm Warren in the chat. Say hi to YouTube. Say hello. Oh, it's Murr. Oh my gosh, no way. That's insane. I'm a huge fan of Murr. This, this is awesome. Fight, but there's something wow, she's I a win protect. legendary. That's awesome. All right, here, let's take a look at these skills here. Godly Breath. Okay. Accelerate special trigger. Cooldown count minus one. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, inflicts attack speed death res minus five on foe during combat. Hmm. Reduces damage from attacks during combat and from area. Okay, 30%. And unit makes a guaranteed follow. Oh my god, so slaying, it's a bunch of stats, damage reduction, guaranteed follow up. Wow. And she comes with Dragon Wall, because why not? Okay, then she has Defense Res Unity. Okay, that's good. We like that. Dragon Wall. We like that, of course. And then Darkling Darkling Guardian. Let's take a look at Darkling Guardian. So what this does is, at start of turn, if you is in two spaces of an ally, grants Death Res plus six, Folk cannot make a follow-up attack, and Warp Bubble to unit for one turn. So it just buffs herself. That's very good. Now, warp bubble. Foes cannot warp into spaces within four spaces of unit. That's really, really, really good. I do not say this lightly. That is very good. That is incredible. That is, wow. I'm actually blown away by that. That is a really good skill. Actually. That will be good in a lot of modes, namely Aether Raid's defense, I think. Gatekeeper 2, yeah, for real. That is very good. The Aether Raid's defense, that will be very good. Does not affect foes with pass skills or effects from structures like camp. Okay, whatever, whatever. Cool. Cool Mur. Wow, that's very cool. They made Gatekeeper 2. <laughs> I got that right. That's I got the title of this video. <laughs> wow, she's so cool looking. OMG. Wow, her bestie Ephraim is there too. <laughs> not true Dragon Wall, not viable for meta. Probably a skip. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she'll be good to invest into. As a, there's probably better options for win season. Oh, that's really loud. Thanks for the super chat leak. What? Thank you very much. Let's see, Bramimon, Elliewood, oh wait. The death res unity going to my nearest Alphonse, I'm sure it is. Byleth. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Joshua, Naomi, Shada. Alright, so... Mer is sharing with Shada and female Byleth. That's actually really good. If you're pulling for any of them. This is def- I'm- I'm- Pulling actually, I'm actually pulling because I want male Byleth merges and also dagger merges, and also Edelgard is there, and I would suck if I got her because I have her plus ten already. So, what are you gonna do? But yeah, blue is okay if you want Mer. If you don't have a wooden legendary, this is an option, I suppose. She's also she'd also be really good as a one off if you want some shenanigans for your eighth raid's defense. If you're getting that just shuts down Gale Force completely. Gale Force strategies completely, almost pretty much. But yeah, uh, for red we got Ellie Wood, that other guy I can't remember his name, and Raimi. That's a skip. Uh, colorless we got uh, Bramimon, Legendary Claude, Joshua. That's not bad actually. Bramimon's kind of a stinker. Claude's incredible. Joshua's fine. Yeah, okay, that's an okay banner, I guess. If these are any of your merge projects, then you can go for them. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Wow. And if you have the Fate Pass, you can get one for free. That's incredible. Well, guys. Well, everyone on YouTube, thank you for watching this this video. Oh my gosh, we should watch Summoning Soul instead. No. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's it. Thank you.